All right, it's a new day and a new video. So in the last video, I was on the east coast of Florida in upgrading a system on a new MAR for a client in Vero Beach. This week, I'm on the other coast. I'm on the west coast in Wikiwachi installing a full-on system on this RV that you can see behind me. So this is a 2003 Bigfoot Class C. We've, in, we've installed panels, we've installed inverter, we've installed batteries, we've installed a whole bunch of stuff in this RV, and the client is very happy with what has been installed. So let's go over and take a look and see what exactly was installed. All right, so coming up to the passenger front side of the RV, just behind the passenger door, is the storage bay. And this is where we installed the system and it was the best place to put it. So let me show you. Uh, a close-up of what got installed. All right, so coming in close to the bay, you can see we got our four batteries here. These are 200 amp hours each. So if you do the math, we got 800 amp hours of lithium battery. Starting over here on the left, we have our bus bars where the batteries connect to. We have our main battery disconnect, which it is rated for 400 amps of continuous use. And then below it is our shunt and then our links distributor. So the DC distribution side of the system. If you've watched my videos before, you will have seen me use this setup many times before. I really like this setup because this is very compact and then for the battery side you can get a four post version which I'm using or you can use a six post which you've seen in other videos I've done and it's nice because these for the batteries these bus bars you can orient them in many different directions to fit your space so overall I have found this what I have installed over here a great uh, fit for many different types of RVs. All right, so moving over, we have the Servo GX, which is the brains of the operation. So the solar charge controllers connect to it, the shunt connects to it, the inverter connects to it. And that is what communicates with the Victron remote monitoring web portal. And this is what allows me to provide remote support for you uh, in the case you're having some issues or you need me to take a look at something in the system. The only caveat, it's gotta be connected to the internet. So below the servo is we have a smart battery protect and this has been installed in the system because the DC side of the coach has been tied into this new system. And so when the battery gets to a, a low voltage, this will actually disconnect the DC side before uh, the batteries are fully drained. Up here is we have a multi plus two and it is uh, a 3000 VA, so 2400 watt uh, inverter charger. That's sitting up here. And yes, there is plenty of airflow behind it uh, for it to keep cool. So keep moving over here to the right. We have a fuse here, a mega fuse, that is for our alternator charging. Um, it's here and not inside the Lynx distributor because you can put four fuses inside the Lynx and we have five devices we needed to connect to the system. All right, so we have our two PV disconnects here and our two solar charge controllers. And then down here we have our Orion DC to DC 30 amp alternator charging and this is the breaker for it. So why did we go with two solar charge controllers instead of one larger one? Well, let me answer that once we get up on the roof. But for now, this is what the bay looks like. Neat, tidy, organized. Um, and I forgot to mention on top of the batteries, I use MRBF fuses because of their interrupt rating. So if they were to trip and if there was a surge of power, these are, there's less likely chance that an MRBF fuse is going to fuse its back self, self back together. Whereas with a mega fuse with on the battery side, there's a chance a mega fuse could fuse itself back together with a large surge of power. So use MRBF fuses on your batteries people. It's safer and it's better with lithium. All right, so this is the bay. And so let's now hop up on the roof and I'll show you and explain what was installed, how many panels were installed up on the roof and why I chose to go with two solar charge controllers versus one larger one. All right, so I'm up on the roof of that Bigfoot RV. So I'll, You'll see here, I'll pan around here a second. So this is towards the front of the RV and you can count, there's four panels 
on the front half of the RV. If I walk towards the front, you can then, I'll show you, uh, the back half of the RV, and there's three panels. Again, doing the math, that means we have seven panels installed on this RV. These panels I went with were the brand new Rich Solar 250 watt panels. They're 12 volt panels. So the reason why I went with two solar charge controllers is because we have seven panels. If we wanted one larger, we would either have to go down to six panels or we would have to go up to eight panels. And there just wasn't room for an eighth panel on this roof. And the user wanted to maximize the amount of solar they could get up on this roof. So seven panels, two solar charge controllers, four and three. Uh, let me zoom in here and I'll show you something cool about these panels. All right, so here's a close up of the panel. This is one panel and it's 250 watts. Do you see this line down here in the middle? As it was explained to me by Rich Solar, this is basically a 125 watt panel and a 125 watt panel that are glued together. And why is this important? Is because it improves shading performance. So these panels so far, have, these brand new panels from Rich Solar have definitely impressed so far. I'm curious to continue to do further testing with them. They are about four inches wider and about two inches longer. So they're not gonna work with every install, but if you have a wide body or if you don't have a lot of stuff on the roof, these are definitely some good panels to get. All right, so coming inside just above the main door, as you can see is where we installed the touchscreen for the Servo GX. This is a great uh, screen to have because you can see the status of the system is very easy to read compared to some other uh, competitors on the market. Uh, so you can see your AC load, your solar coming in, DC load, battery status, and shore power status. So very convenient to have and a great location to put it. All right, so to recap, we have a Multi Plus 2. It's a 3000 VA or a 2400 watt inverter charger. We have 1750 watts of panels up on the roof provided by seven rich solar 250 watt panels that are connected to our two solar charge controllers down below. We do have a 30 amp DC to DC charger as well. And as well, we have uh, 800 amp hours of lithium battery uh, in this system with the uh, Victron remote monitoring uh, capabilities as well as the touchscreen on the inside. Now you guys might wonder because I do sell that generator start stop box why I didn't install it in this RV. Well the answer is because they've pulled that generator out of this RV and installed a mini split in its place. So there's no generator for that so it wasn't needed in this install. So thanks for watching my latest video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, go ahead and make a, leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you about it. I will also leave my contact details as well uh, in case you're interested in getting a system installed, upgraded, uh, improved on your RV. I can definitely help with that. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.